Behold, the almighty soldering iron. It fuses metal. Combines conductors. So powerful. <sighs> Excuse me. Wait, just oh. coming in here. I'm gonna do she, some soldering. She, did she just? Oh my gosh! Oh. She just turned. She just picked it up. Like the sword from the stone. She is the chosen one. You guys, a soldering iron isn't magic, but it is pretty powerful. It uses the power of heat to bond components together with material called solder. Wow! It must use a lot of heating power then. That's right, Ruby. This soldering iron uses 65 watts of power, and with great power comes great responsibility. And what exactly does that mean? It means that you have to be very careful when soldering and follow a few simple rules. What sort of rules? For starters, soldering irons are not toys. They're specialized tools, and they get very hot very fast, and you can't tell how hot they are just by looking at them. Oh, like an electric stove. They can be dangerous. Exactly. It's easy to burn yourself if you aren't sure what you're doing. Young people and beginners shouldn't be using a soldering iron without an experienced adult around. So how dost thou wield such a dangerous tool? First up, let's start with some basic safety gear. Such as? When solder is heated up quickly by a soldering iron, it can sometimes spit little drops of hot liquid called flux. And that's why it's important to wear a good pair of safety glasses. Yeah, gross, no spitting. When solder melts, it releases smoke that you definitely don't want to breathe. A fume extractor like this one uses a fan to suck that smoke into a filter so that you have clean, fresh air to breathe. Ah, that's much better. You should only hold a soldering iron by the handle and never touch the heating element. Yikes! No way! Total Burnsville! That's right, and because it's so hot, you can't just put down a soldering iron anywhere. You need to have a stand that can withstand the heat. Oh, like, like this one? Exactly. This soldering iron stand is made out of metal, so it doesn't burn, and it has a wide, flat base, so it won't tip over. So, a stand holds the iron. What holds the thing you're soldering? That's where a vise comes in. This vise is designed to hold small circuit boards securely during soldering. All you do is slide the circuit board in and then tighten the jaws to hold it in place. Then you're ready to start working. What if you're soldering really big circuit boards? Well, for those, we've got really big vices for big boards. Whoa, it's a super vice. So once you have all the important safety gear taken care of, how do you, how do you start soldering? Well, now that we've got everything set up with our safety and our gear, doing the actual soldering is pretty simple. Step one, turn on the iron. Now wait for it to heat up. While it's heating up, place the component you want to solder onto the PCB. Place the PCB in your vise. Place the hot iron tip between the component lead and solder pad. Feed solder into joint, and voila. It's a miracle! Amazing. Wunderbar. Then clean the iron's tip using some brass wool or a damp sponge and place it back in the holder. Last but not least, don't forget to turn off your soldering iron. You make it look easy. Thanks. It's not that hard, but it does take a little bit of practice to get good at. Now remember, nobody here should be using the soldering iron without me here for supervision. Yeah, no sweat. Well, since you're here, maybe you could help us with this project. It's not too 
complicated. Yeah, it should only take a few hours. Oh no, what have I done?